Hey guys, and welcome to Petroped. And welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog, uploading a new video every evening at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. First off, notice the COVID quiffs gone. <laughs> yes, I actually entrusted Mrs. Petroped with a pair of dog grooming clippers. <laughs> and I think she's done a pretty good job, to be fair. Anyway, back to business. Fancy some minis? I thought we'd do a mini one. Before we get stuck into our minis, it's time for this episode's Peddler's Pup. And well, this is just the coolest picture ever. Meet Ziva. And Ziva was sent in to me by Michel Aube um, from France. And oh man, what a cool picture. And he's wearing doggles as well. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. Awesome, awesome picture. Now I have actually been sent some non-dog pets. So I am opening it up to people who don't, it's not just, I'm not being kind of, you know, catist or, you know, any other kind of petist. If you've got other types of pets, send them in as well. And I would love to share them with everybody. But yes, I think uh, Ziva, what a beautiful, beautiful dog. So uh, first up, we are actually, having been to France, we're now going to Australia. Okay, so the first video I want to show you this evening is from Australia. Uh, it actually, fe both the videos this e or in this episode feature pups, okay? And when I saw this video, I thought, that's got to be on. Absolutely cool. So we're going off to a guy called Mark. Uh, and Mark's actually got a YouTube channel called MGA Drive. Um, we're going to Australia and we're going to see his very cool R56 Mini JCW. that are new to the channel my name is Mark and welcome to MGA Drive I've got my little co-driver here with me Mason just going for a quick drive as always hope everyone has been well hello buddy say hello to everyone <laughs> he loves going for an outing guys he absolutely loves it well g'day guys as always welcome to MGA Drive and welcome to another video for those that are new to the channel Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Pete from Petrol Pet has put it out there to show your make and model of your car, whether you've got a caravan or a motorbike or a passion, whatever it is that you love, to get it on his channel. And I think it's a great idea, especially with what, you know, the circumstances of what we are all going through. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my 2010 Mini JCW. Now guys, I just want to put it out there as well too. Today I'm not in my driveway unfortunately there is a bit of building going on next door and there's a lot of noise and i'm here in a secluded warehouse area so i'm keeping my my distance my 1.5 there is no one here so don't stress i am doing the right thing the only noise that we've got is these birds in the trees up here somewhere but it's all good all right so if you are new to the channel um, this is my 2010 JCW. I'm sure a lot of you guys know my car that watch my channel. I've owned this car now roughly for around, I think it's already coming up to six months of ownership. I can't believe it's been that already. And I've got to say, I'm absolutely loving this car every day. Driving this car, you know, this is my daily guys. And um, it is an absolute blast to drive. They're a 1.6 litre turbocharged engine. They're roughly around 155 kilowatt. It is the JCW, so it's got all the bells and whistles, the big brakes, the good stopping power, you know, the original exhaust system which bangs and pops its head off as soon as you put it into sports mode. This thing is a little beast, I've got to say. It is true what they say about minis. These things are an absolute go-kart. The handling that you get out of these cars are bloody awesome. I absolutely love it. So recently, what have we done to it? Uh, we've fitted some Michelin Pilot Sport 4s on Corgi, and I've got to say they're, you know, they're an absolute great tire to drive with. Whether it's on everyday roads or whether you're taking this thing to the track, these things are bloody awesome. We start with the externals, the paintwork. I've got to say, guys, it isn't the cleanest car out there by all means, but it's my car, and I absolutely love it. 
So there are a few imperfections with it. Um, you know, we've got things that we've got to fix. Like I did say, everyone that does follow MJ Drive would know that I've got to get the rear bumper bar painted. There are a few imperfections in the paintwork, um, such as like, you know, people that have hit the, the panels as in dings and stuff like that. Things that Mark is working to get fixed. Um, as in any, you know, performance wise, um, you know, as in a turbo cat back or a big air filter or anything, this thing is all original. Mark has done nothing as in performance wise to it yet. Um, we've had to redo the front suspension or the link pins, the lower control arms on this thing when I previously bought it from the previous owner was quite shot. So these were things that needed, you know, immediately tension um, to it that I had to sort of get done on this car. And um, I've got to say, you know, it was worth, you know, every money spent on it because, you know, it's got to drive right. So, so that's what we've done to it. Um, like I said, there's the exterior there. It isn't, you know, it isn't the best, but I've got to say I'm pretty, pretty proud to own this car. It is a fun car to drive. Now, as in the interior, um, you know, it's all original. There's no major, you know, damage to the interior. I've got to say it is pretty clean. The only thing that we have done to it is the gear knob there. I've sort of done my own little touch with the uh, cob gear knob and the shifter there. We've painted that black. So what else have we done on Corgi? Um, we've had to also do the worn-up procedure on it, the worn-up blast. If anyone knows the Mini JCWs, they do get a carbon build-up. So that was something that we did also do recently on Corgi. You know, another expense to the bill. That's Minis for you, but it's okay because, you know, it, it runs better now and it drives like it really should. So really happy with getting that done. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed that quick video on Corgi, my beloved Mini. Um, as always, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please give it a thumbs up, smash the like button as they say, and uh, take care of yourselves and see you on the next one. See you, bye bye. Thanks for doing that, buddy. Nice work. And what I loved about that, apart from the amazing birds making a noise, I think you can probably hear my local bird population getting stuck into the to this episode. But yeah, a brilliant car. I love the R56 uh, Mini Hatch, and and uh, I love the presentation. I thought the video was brilliant. Loved seeing your dog as well, and uh, yeah, just fantastic. I'll put links to your channel uh, below, so guys head over and check him out for sure. And um, we're now uh, having been uh, to a French dog to start. We, then we went to Australia, now we're going back to France to a guy called Oliver. Now, uh, Oliver's in France with his dog Sterling, a uh, very cool dog. I love the way this video has been put together. Um, and uh, Oliver's got, a, again, a YouTube stroke social media presence called Mini Tinkering. So it is a mini video, and when I first watched this, I went, oh, it's a fairly normal looking mini. And then we keep going through the video and you find out it's anything but a normal looking mini. Over to you, Oliver. Hi, Petrol Ped. My name's Oliver, and you can maybe see my dog Sterling back there. Sterling! There he is. Anyway, we live in France, so I haven't been to the hairdresser for quite a while because of the virus. I think you can tell. And when we get back from our walk, I'm going to show you my new car. Almost there. Are you ready? It's a mini! Come on, let's get this dog a bowl of water and I'll tell you all about it. This is my latest project, 
a 2014 five-door Mini Cooper with the 1.5-litre petrol turbo three-cylinder manual transmission. I've upgraded the brakes to bigger calipers, discs and pads because it's now running on ethanol and has had a stage one tune. Around the back is my new quad exhaust which will soon be complemented by a homemade carbon fibre diffuser so please excuse the janky cutouts on the bumper. Check out the DIY matching wing mirrors and key. Here is my wide angle rear view mirror and two way dash cam. This is vinyl that I cut out to test some shapes which I'll paint onto the plastic trim when I'm happy with the pattern. I did this on my last car and it looked great. I might experiment with some carbon fiber this time. As you can see I'm working on the shifter which is going to look really nice when I'm done. No GPS but that's fine for me because my phone is better anyway and I might install a tablet that hangs off both phone mounts. The steering wheel is nice but a bit plain so I might wrap it with some carbon fiber and maybe some Alcantara. Now let me show you what I'm working on. This is the carbon fiber lab. I wonder what all these little bits are. Now this is very experimental and has probably never been done before. So try not to guess what it's for, even though I'm going to show you exactly where it goes. Anyway, that concludes my little tour. Thanks for hosting me on your channel, and thank you for so many hours of high quality mini entertainment. Yes, love the fact you have a carbon fibre lab. <laughs> it's not something everybody has in their shed. So really interesting film. As, as I said at the beginning, that your Mini looks quite normal from a distance and then you start to talk to us about, I mean, the exhaust out the back looks absolutely brilliant. So yeah, fantastic video. Interesting style with the kind of um, voiceover there. Um, not to everyone's taste, but I actually quite liked it. It was good. Um, but again, I'll put links to your social media uh, in the description below. Thank you very, very much. Uh, loved Sterling as well. What a beautiful dog. And I really enjoyed the the fact you have to fill out, clearly in France, you have to fill out a form to justify whenever you're going out the house. We're not quite like that here in the UK, but I did like your uh, your uh, inventiveness at putting filming for petrol pet as a reason for leaving the house. But guys, I hope you enjoyed those two uh, films in this episode of Peddler's Rides and the Pups. Um, but I hope you did. And if you did so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrol Pet for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, guys, but you take care. Stay safe.